I use frequency separation by median blur, when I need to remove the hair from the background. Don't forget to hold the shift to use this function. We use frequency separation so that all unnecessary hair from the background is moved to the upper frequency. To do this, move the slider to the right until the thin hair becomes blurred. Now go to the upper frequency and use the clone stamp tool to replace the hair with a background texture. In the transition from the background to the hair a sharp transition occurs at the upper frequency. To remove it, reduce the opacity of the clone stamp tool and lower the parameter hardness. You must be very careful when performing this operation. You can undo the last actions in case of erroneous movements. Use hotkeys to do this quickly and efficiently. Now we need to switch to the lower frequency and create a precise selection on the contour of the hair. For this we use the pen tool. I will leave additional links in the description of this video for those who don't know how to use this tool.
Right click and press make selection. It is necessary to make the feathering of the selection about 3 to 6 pixels. This value depends on the size of your image. Let's set the wrong value. And then fix it. Our contour of hair was too sharp without using feather radius parameter. Set the correct value and retouch contour of hair. We retouched the contour of the hair from only one side. Invert the selection to do the same on the other side. Now I will once again make all the steps with the other hair in the photo.
Congratulations. We removed the extra hair from the background and learned to straighten out the contour of the hair.